Hello everyone. Today is going on a pick day, a home where the owners have been acquiring items from auction houses and estate sales for several years. They are moving and want to take none of it, none of it with them. We're going to start upstairs and then eventually work our way into the basement, which I heard is jam packed. So join me, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. This way, when we do go down in the basement, that's a whole nother adventure. You'll be in the know about it. So join me and let's get to picking. So unfortunately for the upstairs, I wasn't able to record anything, but I did come back with this box full of antique and vintage books. We even have some dogs for dummies. So what I thought I could do is take you all along on the research journey with me to see exactly what some of these might be worth. To look on eBay, to look online, and to see if we have any big winners, big money makers in the box, or if they're just nice antique books. Let's start off with the classic Winnie the Pooh. Our book is the 1928 copyright, the 61st edition. So there are many, many editions of this book out there. As you can see using this search phrase, there are 940 results. The first one that pops up is a first edition from 1926. Sadly, ours is not that one. So if you go through, you'll see all sorts of editions, some with dust jackets, some without, different colors of the covers. This is a deluxe first edition, first printing. If you're going to get into the world of books, there are many, many indicators for what will make it worth more, such as, as I mentioned, is it a first printing? Is it signed? Is there a dust jacket? Is it a special edition, etc.? So those are all things that one has to learn when they want to venture into the world of books. Now, I'm not seeing any in these first couple of listings that match ours. So let's go up to the solds and see if there's anything. No, no exact matches found. Now here's a first edition, 1926, US first edition, fair condition, rare, four bids, $44. This one has a leather binding, leather cover, so that was worth a little bit more. So first edition makes all of the difference for this book. Now let's see if we take out the year and just put the edition. We're still not getting any hits. Because this is such a later edition, you know, it's not the 200, 300, 400 dollar book that one would hope, but for someone that collects Winnie the Pooh, that collects the different editions of Winnie the Pooh books, this would be a nice little addition to their collection. So let's venture from Winnie the Pooh to Africa with Roosevelt's African Trip published in 1909. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> we have this first one. It's the exact same book, 1909, $14.99 plus shipping. $19.99 plus shipping. $22 or best offer, $20 or best offer, $25 or best offer. Here's one $10 or best offer. I'm sure the prices vary based on condition. So it looks like they usually average anywhere between $10 to $30, again, depending on condition, but two have sold for $10 previously. So that seems like the, the going rate for this book. Now we had some little books amongst the bigger books and those were the Book of Birds of America. We have a green and a blue version. So let's look at the green book from 1931. This is not ours. Ours has a different cover. This is a red book. So here someone has the trio. You have the red, the blue, and the green. I don't believe the red was in the box. We are missing that one. 
So here it's nine ninety nine, almost at nineteen ninety nine uh, plus shipping, seven ninety nine or best offer. Again, condition varies. Seven fifty with three days left, fifteen dollars. So let's take a look at solds. These are a little bit uh, different covers than ours. Nine ninety nine or best offer, five dollars plus shipping. Now, the Blue Book of Birds from 1931, I'm assuming that's probably going to be the same as the Green Book. So again, you have another trio, $15 or best offer. Last one, one watcher, $14.99, first edition. $5.99, free shipping. Let's go to solds. $9.99 or free shipping, $14.99, first edition, $9.99. So for these two, you can either lot them together and sell them at the flea market or lot them together and I think sell them perhaps on Etsy. They would be good for people that are making paper projects with birds. And I only say that because it all depends on the condition. These inside have every page has kind of like a watermark. They must have gotten wet at some point. They might be of better use, you know, being turned into something else in the condition that they are in. You know, obviously if you have a first edition of Winnie the Pooh, I don't think you're going to be tearing that apart to make a junk journal of it. Next we have The Strange Story of Mr. Dog and Mr. Bear, copyright 1915. I love the cover on this book and this book is in pretty good shape, so let's see if it's worth anything. And there's nothing. <laughs> nothing comes up at all. Maybe I have too many keywords in here, maybe I just should have put the author's name. Let's go to Solds. And we have nothing. The strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but that is not what we want. So let's take a look over at Worth Point. All right, let's check out Worth Point. I'm just going to put in the title and we have 76 matches or 76 sold items. Here's one. This was in 2023, November, so that's pretty recent. And that actually looks like possibly the only one that's there. So this sold for $60.38. This is 1915, condition very good, antique condition book, free from any major issues. Pages show some light discoloration and soiling, and the book retains a small price in pencil. That's actually very, very common. So that was what, 1915? And ours was 1915. So I think this book so far might be one of the better ones out of the bunch in terms of worth. $60.38 for a cute, strange story of a Mr. Dog and Mr. Bear. Next up, we have Peekaboo Baby Blossom series. I often find this type of book at the flea market, you know, in a box, in a tote, or find them at on-site estate auctions. We're not finding them on eBay. Let's go to the solds. And nothing. Now this book does not have a date. It does not have an author. Oh, look at that. Peekaboo doll. See, it's kind of fun when you don't find what you're looking for, but then you see some of these other items and you're like, oh, well now I know to, if I see one of these to maybe pick it up. These are all sorts of babies. But yes, I find these books a lot at auctions and even estate sales. Let's just take a look at Worth Point just in case. No, oh. we have my, oh my gosh, that's all for $500? Whoa, that was in 2018 though. We have Vintage My Little Pony, late 1980s, a lot of 50 ponies. These are actually probably, oh my gosh, there's an elephant one? I've never seen that. These are probably worth more today, to be honest with you. That was probably a good price in 2018. Wow. Well, that wraps it up for the 
book research adventure. Sorry I was not able to take you into the upstairs of the home. It was kind of cramped quarters. We were moving around a lot from room to room, just gathering up things here and there. But when we venture into the basement, hopefully I'll be able to take you all with me and show you just the wide array of items that have been collected and purchased from auction houses throughout the last several years. So I hope you enjoy this. Just a typical, hey, let's look this up on eBay and see what it's worth kind of video, but that's a part of reselling. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you're doing your own research on eBay or on Etsy or any other online platform, I wish you luck and may you find that item that's worth a pretty penny.